I thought I was like everybody else. If you asked me, I would have said I'm getting eight hours of sleep. Sleep doesn't fit in my day-to-day -day life as much as it should fit. Unfortunately, like so many people, I consider sleep as the last thing that needs to get done in the day. I don't prioritize it enough, and I wish that I did. I just have the mindset that I'll sleep when I'm dead. My name is Dan Biglin. I am 58 years old, and I am a battalion chief with a fire department in Union County, New Jersey. As a first responder, my schedule fluctuates, and I don't plan for that as much as I should. I get about six to six and a half hours of sleep a night. My name is Kayla. I'm 24 years old. I'm from Brooklyn, New York, and I work at JFK Airport. A typical day would involve me waking up at around 2.30 in the morning, then snooze, then I have my 2.45 alarm, and then I snooze that. On average, I get about four to five hours of sleep a day. One of the worst things in life, I feel like, is when someone looks at you and says, you look really tired. I can tell you unequivocally that every first responder in this nation has to work two jobs and a lot of that comes at the cost of a good night's sleep. I feel like life is living me instead of me living life sometimes. I see a lot of accidents early morning. I see accidents late at night, and that's usually due to people falling asleep behind the wheel of the car or just making bad decisions. I need to start listening to my body because this is my machine and I am the operator and if I'm not okay, then this ain't all gonna be okay. When I first saw the job posting, I thought it was a scam. <laughs> Casper, which is now offering to pay New Yorkers to sleep on the job. I, I love this. Who wouldn't want to apply? My daughters thought I would be the perfect candidate for Casper Sleeper because I am a world champion napper. I can fall asleep just about anywhere. The Sleepers program was a program where we hired people literally just to sleep. We're hoping this job position will not only improve these people's lives, but also get others to question whether they're getting enough sleep. We want to wake up the world's love of sleep and see all the good it can bring to our lives. My mom, she's a retired nurse. She's worked for the city for like over 40 years. She's like old school, so it's like, you got a job to sleep. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm like, Ma, it's real, like this is a real thing. And literally after the first interview, I manifested it and I looked at my mother, I said, Ma, I'm gonna get this job. From this point forward, you guys are officially the unconscious faces of the Casper brand. <laughs> The first time I went there, I was super excited. I was nervous. I didn't know what to expect. Admittedly, it took me a few minutes to actually fall asleep, but I literally fell asleep. Come in, say hi to everybody, ask for my slippers, get my pajamas on. You ready to get some beauty sleep today? Yes, I am. One of the opportunities I had was to sleep in a park I arrived early one morning and they were constructing what essentially looked like a bedroom adjacent to a very busy street. You know what's happening in that bed? It looks bloody comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> you got any applications for me? I had the best day ever. I showed up to work and this is work. Some people are like, what the hell is going on? Then some people are like, oh my God, this is so cool. I heard one person tell me afterwards, they actually were questioning whether I was real or not until I moved. So. Whatever you took from seeing me sleep on the street today, just know your girl got some rest. This is the coolest job I ever had. Now that time has passed, I would definitely say me and sleep are like this. Casper made it a priority for me to literally prioritize sleeping because it was not only a job, but I had to go in and do it. So as I started to come into work, I started realizing like, you know, I need to sleep. But outside of this mattress, outside of this environment, how do I achieve what I'm doing here at home? 
We can't take care of other people if we don't take care of ourselves. Since becoming a Casper sleeper, I've really changed my night routine. I think I'm just a happier person, and I think that my interactions with people around me are more positive. I can't love other people if I don't love myself. I can't be my best self if I don't get enough sleep. And I realized with this job that I didn't love myself enough to even give myself the time to be selfish to achieve sleep. I was always doing something for somebody else or I was always answering my phone, heading out the house at 10 o'clock to go to a party until I realized my body can't take it anymore. Make you a priority. Know that you matter. Put yourself first.